Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to At The Gates. Uh, before we get started here, uh, I'd like to correct a massive uh, error on my part from the last episode, and uh, that's that's these guys here, Herrick, Clan Herrick. Uh, so I was saying that they wanted to be in the crafting discipline, when in fact they don't want to be. That was, I, I, here's the thing, guys. If you look at this, likely to get upset within a year of forced into a profession in the crafting discipline, and like look at, I don't know if there's anybody else, I think these guys maybe. Yeah, look at this, likelihood to get upset within a year if forced into a profession outside of discovery. So I mean, it's, it's like, like literally a couple different words. So if you don't read the whole thing, like I didn't, and you just automatically assume you know what it's saying, uh, yeah, you end up having a mistake like that. So that was my bad, guys. I apologize. Uh, that makes perfect sense. That's why they are unhappy about being in the uh, profession. I thought that was just like a bug or something. I thought that was really weird why they were asking to be moved out of crafting when they want to be in crafting. And that is why. So that makes perfect sense. So we are going to have to change her up. But frankly, uh, it kind of throws things off a little bit. We're really not going to be able to do that at the moment because uh, we need to get the wood. And we're in April, and I, I just don't see us changing it. So we will soon, uh, maybe in winter, we'll get her changed because I was going to change her up anyways to to do a more uh, more permanent set uh, setup here. So instead of doing that, we'll just change her to something else outside of crafting. Uh, let's go ahead and end our turn. I think we finished up everything we needed to do in this turn last episode. Uh, but yeah, that was just a massive mistake, but we'll, we'll get that fixed. Uh, and we have identified another iron deposit. Uh, or in fact, is that... Is that our first iron deposit? No, we do have an iron mine here. Okay, so we found iron and coal, but no stone yet. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna want the surveyor, I guess, to analyze this here since we have yet to find this stone. So we might check that out. Uh, we already have the hunter over going over here. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's have the surveyor come over here and identify this resource, uh, and let's have our scout keep on moving along seeing what we can find. As I said, we're going to go along the south here, try and see what we can find over here. Uh, and I think that's it for this turn. All right, awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just don't think we should change Clan Haircut right now because uh, we really need to get that timber going. We're just not producing enough as uh, enough of it as it is. Uh, so you can train weaponsmiths. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, get this identified. I'm really hoping for some stone since we have two iron deposits and a coal. Uh, and then it looks like we need to get this guy moving. Uh, so we found another type of plant down here. Uh, these guys need to identify the animals there. And we can now study another profession. All right, I'm, I'm really tempted to do Watchmen. I like the Watchmen. Watchmen uh, extend your borders. Uh, it's one way to do that outside of fortifying. Uh, can we fortify? I believe we can if we wanted to. Yeah, we could fortify this and extend our borders a little bit. I don't know what it would end up including, though. There's not really anything around us where that would be all that beneficial at the moment. Uh, so we're not going to do that. But yeah, we might want to do Watchmen once we have a better idea of what kind of resources are near to us. So we really need to um, continue getting stuff here in our metalworking just because we have so many uh, sources of, of metal now that it would make sense to, to get something else here. Uh, perhaps uh, the glass makers, uh, they double production. Oh wait, no, not the glass makers, it would be the anvil makers. Yeah, so they double production of the tools and weapons. Uh, before we did that though, we should probably get the blacksmiths. So let's go and get the, get the blacksmiths uh, and uh, that'll be good for right now. Let's go and end our turn. I think we are in May now, right? And so we've got a long time to kind of build up for winter. We definitely need to get more food. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, and we're really building up our stockpiles of some of these resources to sell to the, the caravan. But, unfortunately, uh, we need to get more people who can turn those resources into something more useful. Because that's really where you make your money. Uh, and it turns out that we have some bandits uh, very close to our home. All right, well, that would be a good reason to go deal with these guys. We have, like, a lot of archers. Um, so, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of them. I think we have, I think we have two archers right now. I thought we had three. Apparently we only have two, that's fine. Uh, we should be able to deal with these guys. Uh, so when you have an army, you can, when you have more than one uh, military unit, you ha you can have them merge into an army and you'll see them both on there. And then when they attack, they attack together using both of their attack power. Uh, so very different from the Civilization series, you know, with the newer civilizations where obviously they can't even be stacked anymore. Uh, or if you look at the older civilization series where, you know, each unit attacked on its own and they kind of just supported each other when it came to defense. Uh, very different. I didn't like the old stack system 
uh, honestly. Uh, so we've got another, I think that's why I thought we had three archers. I think I, I was thinking this guy was an archer. But he is not one yet. Uh, it might be a good idea to make him one. However, there's a lot of other things we could do with him as well. Uh, yeah, I almost want to have him just be a hunter to just bring in some food at the moment since we do have two sources of food. Uh, so we could have him go up there. We obviously do want to keep him in his current field, uh, so that would make sense. Um, or we could have him become a watchman, uh, but I think he's pretty decent overall, so we should probably turn one of the shittier ones into watchmans, honestly. Yeah, he's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, there's no reason to, to use him for that. I think we might just make another archer, honestly, um, because we're, we're definitely next to an aggressive uh, you know, aggressive uh, civilization here, so I think having a good army, a good size army would be useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the archer. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. We can always turn these guys into hunters later. Really, you're just giving up treasure that you could have been producing. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you're really giving up when you switch out jobs. You know, there's obviously efficiency loss by not, uh, you know, making sure that you guys have, you don't have to switch out these jobs often. Uh, we got a gift from Rome. We got five food. Okay, one thing I've, I've noticed uh, with these gifts that I've been getting, especially the ones from Rome, is they never seem to be added. Now, I know that this is not 12 food, so it wouldn't go up to 17. It's a number of foods, a number of turns that you have food for, but it just feels like it doesn't make any adjustments. Uh, now, the game is officially out today. This is the, the you know, official launch version of the game, so there's no more, like, excuses for, like, bugs or anything where, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's a pre-release version, so maybe it'll get fixed. Maybe, I, maybe it is being added, and you're just not seeing it because it's, I mean, you can kind of hold over this here to see uh, exactly how much stored food you have. 12.3 um, turned uh, stored food. So maybe if I would have looked at that beforehand, but it just feels like you're not actually getting the food. I don't know. Uh, it just seems like I've never seen a change here when I get that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and combine this archer group with them just to make sure that they take less damage when they attack here because... Uh, the healing of your clans is actually quite difficult. It looks like we are completely blocked in here. Let me just make sure. I'm going to go over here and explore this, but it looks like if, if this is blocked as well, then the whole southern front here is uh, got very natural defenses, so we don't have to worry about being attacked from that direction. But it does kind of also stop our uh, expansion. Uh, so I suppose we don't have any clans in here. We're just going to produce treasure. Uh, eventually, like I said, we are going to want to get her moved, though. Uh, but we need more timber. So, yeah, let's go and enter turn. We can't move those archers just yet. And it seems that the caravan is coming this turn as well. I don't know if we have any goodies to sell. Yeah, we've got some stuff. We'll probably sell some coal, I guess. Because uh, we don't really have a lot of treasure ourselves. Uh, we did identify another our, our gold deposit. Oh, okay. Uh, so that was right here. All right, I've never actually had gold in the game yet. What does this do? Like, what does gold do? Do you use it for anything, or is it just like money? Does it just instantly turn to money? Uh, gold deposits can be harvested by a digger or gold mine to produce a large amount of treasure. Yeah, they do produce treasure. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely want to set something up there uh, soon. Uh, so we got the caravan in town. Uh, we can train blacksmiths. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and have our surveyor identify something else nearby. Uh, we could do... The plant right down there. I guess that's closer than these plants. I suppose that would make sense. This plant's a little bit closer, though. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll have them identify the, the plant down here, and then we'll move over to the rock there, though I don't think we'll get that. I think that'll be Attila's. Uh, so let's go ahead and identify this and see what it is. Uh, and then I want to move over here. Yep, does seem that it is completely blocked in here. All right, good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and move our uh, archers. Oops. Can they not move anymore? Yeah, they just used all their movement points. All right, let's visit the caravan. Uh, we're going to be selling... I think we're going to go ahead and sell uh, some of that um, coal. Because, yeah, we're not going to be using that anytime soon. There's a lot of stuff that we need right now, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I think it would be wise to, to sell some coal. Uh, because it's, you know, just a base resource. And we didn't turn it into anything. We don't really get a lot for it. Uh, but that's okay for now, I guess. we want to sell that. Uh, do we want to sell... The iron, I really don't want to because you can turn it into some really good stuff. Uh, let's see if we can buy the stuff that we need. Uh, we obviously need cloth. We already know that. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy the cloth that they had there. They only had five. I th think we need six to change our clan up. It's either five or six. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, five. So that'll be enough for us to, to add to our clan limit. Uh, and then as far as other resources, 
it's really just weapons and tools uh, right now that we can't really make. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some more of those uh, with whatever money we have. We don't really have a lot, honestly. Let's go ahead and try and get some weapons. Uh, we'll just buy whatever we can get here. All right, that looks good. I don't see us selling anything else right now. Uh, could sell the honey, I suppose, if we wanted to, but that's worth even less. So let's not do that. Uh, not when you can turn it into alcohol and make a considerable amount of money from that. Uh, so we're just going to be producing treasure again. As far as professions that we're going to study, well, I would like to upgrade some of our guys here. Uh, not sure which ones would be best. Uh, well, we do have the miners there. Maybe we'll do the miners. I think that would be the best ones to upgrade. Uh, let me take a look at what we would need. Ten tools here uh, for those miners. Or five boards, which we don't have boards. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I think we're going to get the miner upgrade. I think that would be the most useful for us at the moment. Yeah, because we could apply that automatically. We could also do those surveyors, but uh, these are horses. And, yeah, that just lets them identify quicker. All right, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to get. Um, although, explorers are pretty useful as well. Do we have the weapons? We do. To increase their power. All right, but don't have the horses. Let's do the miners, guy. I think I, I think that's probably the best the best one. The ten tools. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, have these guys? Yeah, they moved. All right. So we're slowly growing, guys. Uh, we need to go ahead and increase that limit right now. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, increase clan limit. There we go. So we can get up to eighteen clans now. Uh, and we've identified a herd of sheep. All right, so that was a loud ass vehicle that just went by. Sorry about that, guys. So we have a herd of cattle and we have a herd of sheep nearby. All right, excellent. So we got a little bit of variety here. So the hunter, um, I think we'll probably go ahead and start foraging for food. Uh, obviously, we need to start building up for, for winter again. I don't want to use all of our herds for food, though, because uh, obviously there's so many other things that you could do with them. I don't think that's for the best, but for right now. We'll do a hidden forge for food, just so we can build up our stockpile a little bit. Uh, so let's go and get the archers moving forward here. And uh, they'll be able to attack them next turn. Uh, Surveyor's going to identify that deposit. And the scout is going to come over here and see what he can find. Since, obviously, there's nothing up here. And uh, this is blocked off by Attila. So this is the most obvious route of expansion. Uh, so let's go that way. I think we'll just have him go on his own here. All right, uh, and in the settlement, we'll just be producing treasure again. Because, yeah, we don't have any clans that we really need to train up at the moment. I almost want to stop the digger from getting coal and have him instead come over here and get that gold so that we'll have the, the treasure. And we're really not using coal at the moment. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. We can change him up, or we could go ahead and prep. You know what? We could change him up to the wood guy. Although I'd prefer him doing something that's more charismatic. Yeah, that would be far better. Uh, something that's, you know, more social. Yeah, I think that'd be a better option. So we'll wait to change him up. I was going to change him to the wood guy so we can change her away. But, you know, what? it's fine. Let's instead have him work on this gold. I think that'd be wise. And then her, let's have her cancel gathering here. I don't know why I'm continuing to gather the honey up. That doesn't make any sense. We should use that during winter and instead gather food up. All right, and then our archers are going to go ahead and, well... Huh. They seem to have added something here. Uh, they added, I can't really see what we got here. Uh, they added a bandit raider. Okay, so they're a lot more powerful than they were. And now their attack power is far better than ours. So we're not going to be able to, to do anything here. What I'm going to do is let's have the whole tribe move over here. Uh, and Or the whole army move over here. And just try and block them from, from going after these guys here. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, we're not not anywhere near able to, to defeat those guys. Okay, um, so let's produce treasure again. I'm surprised that they, they got those. Like, right when I was about to attack, man. I really thought we had it. Uh, and when you attack those, those little uh, uh, tribal areas, they are about to attack our guy there. Uh, but when you attack these, these bandit camps here, you do get something from it. Uh, so that's nice. I don't think we'll be able to reach here. I'm not sure. Um, it does seem that we would defeat them, but I don't think we can do it in one attack. If we move here, would that use up our... Let me just take a look. 
That uses all move points. This uses two move points. So we might be able to do it. All right, so we got our first battle of the campaign. We were able to defeat them. Uh, they're now in, in critical supply. Uh, they are pretty weak. We should be able to destroy them in the next turn. Uh, our guys took substantial damage as well. Uh, and as I was saying before, it does actually uh, take a lot to to uh, increase the health of your guys. You need to use oil, and I want to say there's something else you need. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of costly uh, to to increase the health. Uh, so. What do we want to get for our profession? Uh, we just got the next level of miner, so we're going to want to upgrade our mine with our tools. Uh, we could also upgrade our archers to make them a little bit better, but I don't think we have the resources for those. Uh, I know that you can use weapons, and I do want to change up to spearmen soon. Uh, we don't really have the, the weapons for that just yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade our, our hunters. I eventually want to get winemakers so we can start turning the honey into wine. I think that'd be wise. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and get hunters so we make them a little bit more efficient with our five weapons that we'll have. And that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade the iron mine or the miner. Uh, spend 10 tools to upgrade for additional two production per turn and six plus treasure production per turn from the constructed structures, which of course we don't have those. And so that increased our iron production uh, considerably, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and get her foraging uh, over here and that should help increase the food a lot more. Uh, let's go ahead and enter turn. Uh, so we won our first uh, battle against the bandits. Uh, it looks like they are now fleeing, and there's nowhere for them to go. Uh, so we should be able to kill them here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to kill them. Uh, so we'll go and attack here. Get them destroyed. There we go. Love the, uh, the animations, man. Really, really good. Uh, it looks like they have identified the resource here. It's a field of flax. Okay, awesome. Glad we had some flax nearby. Uh, let's go ahead and identify. Like I said, I think that the, they'll end up getting that, so I don't think it's worth identifying that. Uh, I'd prefer to have them come over here. Uh, we could also build some roads too, but we can do that during the winter, I guess. Uh, how are we looking on time right now? It is August. We'll see how far he can get. I don't expect him to get very far, though. We'll go this way. Uh, but yeah, I don't expect them to get too far, unfortunately. Uh, we got the, the flax. We've got a new clan as well. Your grown fame has convinced Clan Boyle to leave the wilderness and join your tribe. They are filthy and fast learners. All right, so the fast learner, you know, obviously they, they train quicker. And then the filthy, uh, just more likely to engage in feuds. Okay, oh, wow. This dude has lost his eye. Maybe we should make him a warrior for that. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and get uh, all of our people doing stuff. The wood collector, she's done here. We could always use more wood. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and change her up. You know, she doesn't want to do the job. She's unhappy. Uh, she's not efficient at it. So it would make more sense to, to change that clan up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and change them. I don't know what we're going to make them. I'm thinking something to do with maybe mining. Yeah, I think we'll make them miners. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. All right, so uh, until she gets done training that, we're going to go ahead and have him forge gold, probably until the winter, I think. Try and get as much treasure as we can for the next caravan, which comes in two turns. Uh, making pretty good money from that gold, honestly. Uh, so we need to get this guy trained. There's a lot of stuff I need, and I'm thinking we're going to have somebody in this field here. We just don't have enough people in this field, in the agricultural field. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we do have this guy in agriculture right now, uh, and we'll probably leave him in that. Uh, you know what we could do? We could go ahead and get that alcohol maker now. So we can start selling that. We also have another uh, person over here in agriculture. Uh, so I, th I think that might be... No, no, no. We'll change one of these ones. You know, because they, they don't uh, have that penalty. The smelly penalty. <laughs> I think that's what he's got. He's got the, the filthy penalty here. Which means he'll engage in, engage in feuds. So let's instead have him be the farmer. We'll change one of the other ones over to the winemaker. Alright, so he'll be our farmer. Our first farmer. Uh, I don't know where we'll be able to build the farm though. Um, yeah, because we can't build outside of our territory here. Hmm. Yeah, not entirely sure what we're going to do in that regard. Uh, our archers. Do we want to upgrade one of these guys? Can we upgrade them? I thought we had just gotten the archer upgrade. Let me just take a look here uh, after we get these guys moving. Uh, they're not going to be able to go much further uh, because we are getting pretty close to winter here. We'll let them uh, scout out over this area, and then maybe we'll... Uh, change them up. Uh, I thought that we had gotten the archer upgrades. Apparently we did not. Let me just take a look here. 
Uh, we're getting hunter upgrades now. We did not get the archer upgrades. All right, so I think that's what I'm waiting on is the archer upgrade. Uh, is there anybody else that I got that I got upgraded besides miners? Seems that that's a no. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our turn. And I think we'll be good on the winter food supplies. Feel pretty confident about it. Uh, and it seems that we can expect a warm winter. So it shouldn't be too bad here. Uh, so yeah, we should be very, very good on the, the winter supplies then in that case. Uh, so the surveyor, let's go and get him moving up here. Like I said, I'll probably, I'll, maybe I'll try and get over here to identify something. I don't think we'll be able to though. I don't think we'll have time. Uh, so the archers have destroyed that first unit here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack. And I didn't notice that we had a large field of wheat right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and attack these guys, try and wrap them up. Hopefully they don't spawn anybody else before we're able to. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our turn. Next uh, turn, we get the hunters upgrade. Might be something we want to do. Uh, upgrade these hunters here. Uh, one bad thing about upgrading these lower level jobs, though, is that they don't keep that upgrade once you change them and you know you're going to change them. So maybe it wasn't wise getting that. I don't know. Uh, I suppose we could sacrifice the weapons. We should have an abundance of weapons soon. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think it would be worth it. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade him. And be able to get us more food. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with these damn bandits. And we seize the bandit cap. What would you like to do with it? We're gonna we're gonna pillage it. And this is gonna give us. It'll take one turn. The army performing this action will have its defense power halved, making it quite vulnerable to enemy attacks. And one successful will give us three plus score, twenty plus treasure, treasure, uh, two plus horses, and five plus weapons. All right, awesome. Since we just used all of our weapons over here. Okay, uh, so that got us some. Oh, I don't think we we didn't defeat them yet. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so our defense power has decreased, so if they attacked us right now, that would that would do some damage to us. They're pretty damn weak, though, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so this clan here, let's go ahead and get, have them enter into the settlement. Uh, we're going to visit the caravan. Well, we're going to go ahead and... Tr uh, I don't think I'm going to sell the iron. Like I said, I really want to keep the iron stockpiled. Uh, and there's not really a whole lot that we have to have at the moment. Uh, there's plenty of food here, so if we wanted to buy that, we could. Uh, as far as other things that I'm seeing here, yeah, there's not really anything that we need. I guess we could buy some parchment uh, with the money that we have. Uh, but I'd prefer to get weapons and tools at this moment just because we don't have a lot of those. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. We used all our tools, so let's go and buy some tools then. We'll buy 10 tools. That's pretty much all of our money. Uh, there's not really anything else. How many of these could we get? We get two of them. All right, that doesn't really... I think that's actually might be enough, in fact, to train somebody up over the winter if we wanted to. Uh, so we can go ahead and study a profession as well. We need to finish up the hunter upgrade. So let's go ahead and get something here, guys. I think we're going to go and get the winemaker so that whenever I'm ready to get those, uh, we'll have it available. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So these guys here, let's have them. Can we get out there? Maybe. We're going to try. We're going to try and identify these resources uh, before the winter comes. And then when winter happens, I think we'll have him build roads uh, going west. And they did attack me. Well, that's quite unfortunate. So we took a little bit more damage than we would have if we hadn't been looting. That would be one reason why you wouldn't want to loot now, uh, you know, when it gave us that option, is if you have enemies around you. Uh, and I wouldn't have if I had seen that that guy was there. I didn't notice him. Uh, so we got a new clan, or no, no, we've finished training that clan as a farmer. All right, excellent. Uh, so... There's not really anywhere to to build the farm in our borders, unfortunately. So I didn't consider that when I got them. So let's go ahead and see if we can fortify yet. I think you need 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we don't have the settlement. It's either 5 or 10. We, we only need 5. So let's try it out. Let's see how much that builds our borders out. I think that does take a minute to do. Uh, but yeah, there's not really anything for him to do right now. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is have him enter into the settlement, and then we're gonna go ahead and train him. Uh, oh, well, we're training her. We're about to train her up, Never mind. I was gonna say that we could uh, increase his discipline with the two parchment that we got, because I wanna say it is, oops, my bad. I wanna say it is only, yeah, it's only two parchment, which we have. Uh, so, and it would be a good idea to get the farmer trained. Uh, it's just a bummer that you can't build outside of your borders, as far as, I know. It does look like there's a logging camp here outside the borders. You know what? We could always try that. I want to say you can't build outside your borders, though. I very well could be wrong, but let's try it since we're going to be training her up. Uh, we'll build him over. Suppose it'd make sense to get the wheat right there. 
Yeah. We're going to do the wheat. We don't know what most of these plants are. Let's go ahead and uh, bring our one-eyed friend over here to the wheat and see if I can build something there. I want to say you do need it in your borders. But I don't know because AI doesn't seem to follow that rule. So maybe I'm wrong. All right, so found some more resources over here, but not much. Nothing too exciting right now. Just go over here and see what we can find. Uh, I love that we have this this southern natural border here uh, protecting us. Uh, so we, we're going to go ahead and attack here. Finish him off. Our archers are incredibly weak right now. Uh, they did get some some you know good experience from this. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're fairly weak. Uh, and we're not going to be able to increase their health anytime soon, unfortunately. All right, so I think that's all we needed to do this turn. We got all of our people moving right now. And... I want to say we're in October. Yes, we are about to enter into November, in fact. Uh, so you can already see that we're getting the, the fall storms going here. And we're also starting to run a little bit low on supplies here. All right. So we do have another bandit camp down here. Uh, might be somewhere we might want to send our, uh, send our warriors. Uh, looking over here, uh, there is a, a neutral farm here. Uh, but there is already a clan there, apparently. Or maybe those are the neutrals. Yeah, it looks like those are the neutrals. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get these the rest of our clans moving. Uh, so the archers, we'll just move them up home. Honestly, I don't think we'll be able to increase their health anytime soon. Uh, and then that's right. We're going to change, change her up to another job. Uh, so what do we want her to do? Well, I feel like we have enough people in this field here. I think we should move something into this. Like give her, make her into a miner, or let me just see her her current uh, stuff here. Yeah, we could also let's just let's just change her up to a weaponsmith, so we can go ahead and start popping the weapons out. I think that would be smart. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a weaponsmith. No point on getting more iron if we're not doing anything with it. All right, so we're going to finish your turn. You can make a ton of money from those weapons and tools that you make. Uh, make pretty damn good money on that. And we've met this, the Saxons. And it seems two of our clans are now feuding as well. And we can now train winemakers. I don't know where we met them. It looks like right here. All right, so that is the Saxons. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, be friendly with them, I think. Oops, that's the wrong button. My bad. I see that, and I just think diplomacy. I just want to take a look at them. Uh, I think you actually need to click here first. So we can try and increase their influence automatically. Uh, so their global reputation is two. We already have five leverage with them, so we can make an alliance immediately. I don't know why we have so much leverage with them. Um... Greetings, great leader. I've heard of great deeds that come with you. You receive 10 treasures. So they give us 10 treasure. Uh, so we could always give them the tre 10 treasure right back to increase our influence and relationship with them even further. Yeah, I think that would be the best way to do it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so our relationship is already at four plus. We can already create an alliance with them, with that, which I almost want to do simply because... Uh, then I'll be able to use them in a future playthrough. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason to, to have enemies over here. Uh, yeah, there's there's absolutely no reason for it. So I think we're going to go ahead and make, make friends with them. And we'll do that now. Maybe we can ally against the, the, the Huns. All right, so let's make an alliance. They are now cheerful with us. And we've now unlocked the Saxons as a playable faction. All right, awesome. Uh, so... Uh, I don't know why we started so high with them. I want to say it had something to do with our global reputation because we had already, you know, talked shit to the Huns. Uh, and Clan Siegfried is upset. Uh, I don't even know what their demands are. Is this they, they're they upset with the, the other clan? I want to say, yeah, they're in a feud with them right now. So they want the other clan punished. So both clans want each other uh, punished. Uh, and, yeah, that is... Not something you want to do. Uh, when you punish your clans, it strips them of their job and it strips them of all of their discipline. But it does make the other clan happy. 
I don't know, man. I just find it better to just not grant those wishes and then use your alcohol to make both clans happy. Just get them all drunk. That's the way I, I look at it. All right, so let's go to move these guys because they are having some food problems. Let's get them out of there. Uh, so she can no longer uh, get food here because it's cold. Uh, this one's cold as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use her to identify um, some of these resources. We'll probably also identify this one. Uh, so we'll have him identify that one. And then our gal here, she's going to identify, I guess, the resource over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Although she won't move. <laughs> Get over here. Huh. Oh, she can't go there because it's flooded. Interesting. Yeah, the rain has completely flooded it, so we cannot bring her over there. All right, well, we can instead just gather the honey then. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to have her gather honey up. Uh, our friend over here, our explorer, uh, I don't think we're going to go south just yet. Let's go up here. At least figure out where their, their base of operations is. Is that their... That is, that's their settlement right there. Okay, so it's not that far away from Mars. Uh, like I said, though, I think... I don't see why we wouldn't be friends with them. All right, so let's go and get another job training up. We got the winemakers already. Uh, we could get... We don't have any, any olives or... Or, well, we do have flax. Uh, you do want to get that oil. So that's pretty important for uh, increasing your your guy's abilities. Now that we're doing the weapon makers, I think we're going to do the spearmen. I think that would be the best best thing for us to get right now. Uh, with Attila next to us here, I am pretty concerned about it overall. Uh, they're having critical supply. Hopefully we'll be able to get this, this built in time. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so can they move here? I think they're stuck. Yeah, they're immobilized. All right, so let's just skip return. That water has mobilized them. All right. So our farmer down here might actually be taking damage uh, due to the supply issues. Yeah, they've already taken 10% health damage. Uh, we do have supply here, though. Can we construct something? I want to say you cannot construct. Yes, it has to be within your control. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't positive, though. Uh, so that does mean that the farm is fairly useful. The farmer is fairly useless to us. I didn't even think about that, that we don't have any resources here in our boundaries uh, until we get this down here. So, yeah, I, I think we're going to have to... I mean, we could extend... We could fortify here, which would also just be... Uh, five weapons, but I don't think that would increase the size enough for us to do anything. I, I suppose we could do that. Uh, that was only going to be temporary because once the mine in four turns degrades, yeah, that'd be a shame. You spend those five weapons to fortify, and then it's probably not even going to increase it up enough for us to do anything. So farmer's going to have to go back home, guys. Uh, they're going to stay here for the, the turn, though, because their supply is exhausted. Uh, so we'll just have to skip our turn. Yeah, so that building that farmer was not a uh, good choice. That was kind of a piss-poor choice, honestly. All right, so these guys here, let's just have them dig in for right now. Uh, there's really not anything else for us to do with them. Uh, can he move? He cannot. He's still stuck here. All right, and he is on a supply shortage. He can move out, though. All right, yeah, I think we're just going to have to to get out of here, guys. Nothing else for him to do. Uh, let's let's go inside and see what they're working with. They're a pretty small settlement. They don't really seem to have much here. They have mostly focused on galleys. Looks like they have two galleys there. All right, so that's what they're using their clans for, is building up their navy. I don't really know much about how the navies work in the game. I haven't really used those uh, at all. Uh, you have to, I believe you have to have your settlement like next to uh, the water here to be able to build uh, galleys. Could be wrong on that one, though. Uh, let's go and get these guys moving further. We still have supplies, so there's no reason to not keep going. Uh, and the farmer, can we get him out of here? Yeah, we should be able to get him out of here. But yeah, that was such a waste of, of training resources right there. Uh, it wasn't very efficient. All right, so with uh, our... Um, our surveyor. Let's just go and start constructing pass out west so we can at least travel out there quicker. Uh, the pass don't really seem to speed stuff up that much, honestly. Let's go and finish our turn here. But yeah, they don't seem to, to speed it up as much as, as much as one would like. Uh, Clan Herrick is now happy because we granted their desire to be a different job. Well, you are welcome because uh, they are now a weaponsmith. All right, so they should not only now be producing weapons, but they should be doing it a bit more efficient since they are happy 
Uh, so yeah, that's going to increase their resource production. All right, nice. So we're going to get uh, 2.8 weapons per turn. All right, excellent. Uh, so that does make me want to to fortify this, but man, it's only a couple more turns before I'm probably going to abandon it. Uh, you can keep it going even after it degrades, uh, but it produces a lot less iron. I don't know if that would be a, a good option. Uh, let's go ahead and make a road going... Uh, let's have them go this way. All right, our borders did increase. The honey patch is now, or the honey, the beehive is now uh, within our borders, but still no farming yet. Yeah, we need a little bit more. Uh, this guy's in supply shortage now, so it would make sense to, to cancel and get him out of there. Uh, he can start working on something else, I suppose. Yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of there. I almost want to change him up, honestly, uh, to, to something else. Uh, perhaps something, what do we currently have our, yeah, we have the surveyor and then we have this guy. I think we might go into one of those other social professions down there. I think that would be smart. Uh, something that produces fame so we can start getting clans a little bit quicker or even something that produces knowledge so that we can get our techs a little bit quicker. All worthy options. I'm trying to stay within supply here, but yeah, we kind of ran out. All right, so let's just leave them there. Uh, and yeah, we still have supply for this guy, so we'll keep on moving. Uh, I almost want to wrap around here. I don't know if they can cross water, though. I don't think I've tried that before. I don't think they can. Yeah, it doesn't look like an explorer can cross the uh, the seas. Well, yes, we need to skip their turn. All right. Um, we could make them more efficient at their job. I suppose that would makes sense. Train train her up in her discipline. I think that's probably where we'll keep her uh, in this field. I don't know why we wouldn't. So yeah, let's go ahead and train her up uh, since we do have the parchment. Uh, change her metalworking from three to five. All right, so that's what we'll do this turn in our settlement. And as I said, once you get up to 10, uh, then you do get that free upgrade. So we might want to, to research something for her. Uh, so that she can actually do, use it. Uh, it does seem that we're uh, losing, so we have a critical supply here, so let's go and get the the uh, hunter out. Get him back home. Though I don't think, um, yeah, he can't go anywhere, he's gonna lose. All right, so that's a bummer. Uh, so we did identify a field of barley. Okay, uh, so it seems that this is open as well now. I, I guess we'll go ahead and go over there, though it does seem we'll lose. Yeah, I think this takes, not sure. Yeah, I don't think we want to enter that right now. No, not when we have supply here. Hmm. All right, yeah, it seems that we'll get stuck there and we'll lose supply. I don't think there's any way to avoid that, though. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and build another road over here. And who else has things they must do? Oh, right, yeah, yes, this guy. We're going to bring him back, uh, and we're going to... Oh, I was trying to move him into the... What is that? The, have him wait. I thought you could put him in to the settlement right away. Oh, I'm not in the settlement. My bad. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move him to the settlement. Have him enter the central settlement. We're going to be changing his job up. Uh, our forager is going to be moving down here to the beehive. Get more honey that obviously we're not using at the moment, uh, but we'll be able to use that to make honey once I get a winemaker. Uh, and our farmer, oh man, yeah, that sucks. We weren't able to do anything with them. We're probably gonna keep him as a farmer though. I don't know why we wouldn't. I feel like I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get this guy killed out here uh, due to supply exploring all the way out here. Uh, and I, yeah, I don't know how else he'd get back home. He's gonna have to come back home this route. Yeah, probably getting him a little bit too far out. That's fine. If he dies, he dies. I believe he's pretty garbage. Yeah, he's a garbage-ass clan. We get a new clan this turn as well. Uh, and that's really the only way to get rid of the shitty clans is to send them out there and have them fight or just die from supply. Uh, so now that we have almond in here, let's go ahead and get them changed up to another job. And I, I almost want to go ahead and have them change over here to one of these jobs. I think that would be for the best. Oh, wait, no, that's right. I was going to change him to uh, something that has to do with social professions. But you know what, guys? Let's not change him until we find out what the next clan is going to be. Because that's going to kind of dictate what we're going to need. Now, because we still don't have anybody to get us wood now, now that we changed her up. So let's see what the next clan is. It's fine. We'll just produce treasure for this turn. Uh, the caravan comes in four turns now, so it would be good to have some money. And we got a filthy tough guy. All right. Or filthy tough gal. 
let's take a look here. Damage suffered in combat has been halved, and they are filthy. Well, yeah, that would make a very good warrior. Hmm. All right. Uh, so our, our mine has decreased. So I think we'll probably abandon this, though that's not bad. Uh, normally, uh, once it degrades, you only produce two iron, but because of our upgrade, we're producing three, which, you know, the normal one is four, so that's really not that bad. But when you compare it with the six that we could be getting here, yeah, oh, we should abandon it. Uh, this is at a point where we're only actually increasing our supplies by one because of the weapon maker taking two of those and turning them into to weapons. So let's abandon it. That does take a turn to abandon, but then we'll move them over here to the next iron mine. Uh, let's have her forge for the honey again. And uh, yes, we have to get this guy out of here. He's already taken damage. So I'll get the hunter out. I uh, have finished up the roads here. Uh, we could build another one right there, I guess. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Uh, we're not going to take any supply issues. So let's construct a path there. Uh, I guess we'll keep moving around here. I'm kind of worried about supply, though, but it seems like snow is really not that bad in this area. And But the problem is, are we ever going to be able to, to get over here? Uh, I don't really know how... You move your, your troops across seas. That's not really something I'm familiar with. I know that you can do it once it ice ices up. As you can see right here, we have ice, and your troops can move across. But whatever region we're in does not get very cold. As you guys see, the snow is really just down here in the mountains. Uh, so I don't think it will ever ice over where we could walk across it. So I don't really want this guy getting too far. Uh, like I said, though, I wouldn't be entirely upset if he died. Uh, but I do want to explore down here. So, yeah, eh, we might stop moving, moving that way next turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, yeah, that, that kind of sucks that this is, the, she would she would easily make a very good uh, warrior, uh, and it's always kind of hard to, like, choose, should you go what they're good with, or should you have them do something else, you know, something that's, you know, more efficient, uh, something you actually need. Um, our, our archers did take considerable damage here, uh, so maybe what we should do is instead have one of these guys change up away from being an archer. Obviously, they do have problems with corruption and stuff, and they're petty, so that they cause a lot of trouble. I think that's the reason why we made these two. Yeah, that's why we made these two something else, because they're just not very good, uh, honestly. But Clan Ivo could be something else. Let's take a look at this guy here. Uh, he could be something else as well. He doesn't have to be a soldier. Uh, we could easily train him up to something else. I think that might be what we do. Um, change either change one of these two to something that doesn't uh, produce resources, or just change him over to something that's in the honor. Uh, oops, oopsie! <laughs> I just gave Almon our our only alcohol on accident because I accidentally clicked on that button. All right, well that's a shame because he doesn't even produce anything right now because of the, the seasons. Um, yeah, that's a shame. So let's have him change. We're going to change him up to something down here. I think I said that I was going to do a bard next. Yeah, I think we should have him do be a bard. Uh, we need more fame so we can start getting these clans a little bit quicker. So we're going to change him up. We'll do her later. And let's take a look at what we can do with our farmer. Yeah, there's just nothing to be done. That was just kind of a, I think it was a piss poor decision trying to get the farmer when we clearly don't have, uh, you know, our, our borders clearly aren't aren't out far enough to really warrant getting a farmer. Uh, and all of the crops are quite far away. Uh, I almost want to get that wheat crop up there because it's easier. Yeah, I mean, that's one option uh, that we could build a watch tower somewhere, like maybe right over here so we can gather all these resources up. That'd probably be the best place to build a watchtower. In fact, you know what? That's what I'm going to turn one of these guys into. Ivo or... Um, it's probably going to be Ivo because he's garbage. Yeah, I think we're going to change Ivo... Uh, let's go ahead and get him. We're going to go ahead and break the army up now. And then we're going to change Klein Ivo. Bring them over here. Although I should have had them. Ah, oh, that's fine. Uh, we'll have them enter the settlement now. We're going to change them up and get a watchtower over there. And that's what I'll use the farmer for. It's just a, a bummer that we we basically had this farmer for however many turns not doing anything. Which is unfortunate. But nothing really to be done about it. Uh, let's go ahead and have um, merge all armies. All right, so I guess that's the end of the episode here, guys. Um, we're into our second year. Seems like we're getting about one year per episode right about now. 
Uh, and I think you guys have the basic gist of the game. Uh, so if you wanted to purchase it, uh, it is available on Steam now. Uh, I don't know the price. Uh, I should have looked at that before before I recorded the video, but I'm a shitty YouTuber, so I didn't. Uh, so go check it out on Steam. See if it's something that you might want to uh, to buy. I'm really liking it so far. Uh, liking it a lot. Uh, it's, it seems really simple, like I said, but there's just so much to it. Uh, we haven't even really gotten to the jobs all that much yet, but there's a lot to it. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and and uh, yeah, I definitely could recommend getting it if you enjoy, enjoy these type of strategy games uh, so we'll be back with another episode tomorrow uh, if you enjoyed this one make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment and thanks for watching guys